Here we're looking internally at the uh, Radiant computer. Uh, you can see it's um, beautifully designed with all sorts of intricate gears. Um, we'll take a look at the, uh, the outside view of the, the inside view of the outside part of the Radiant computer. Uh, there's a little, um, uh, little motor and uh, a flywheel. Now this operates on uh, 26 volts DC. I'll go ahead and um, reattach the side of the Raiden computer and then we can uh, fire up the bomb site and do a demonstration. Okay. Hello. Uh, today we're taking a look at the uh, Norden bomb site. We've got a M9B uh, head here with a stabilizer base and uh, an X1 reflex site. Uh, I'm going to switch on the power for this for the uh, bomb site and for the stabilizer. Uh, this switch here is for the servo. But uh, I'll let the, the gyros spin up to speed uh, before we run that. Um, off to the side here, we have another switch that powers up the uh, Radin computer. Um, you've got the uh, tachometer adapter start spinning. Uh, when you're selecting your airspeed, the faster the airspeed, the higher the RPMs, the slower your airspeed. You can see that little thing start to slow down there. Off to the side here, you notice there's a, a higher scale for higher airspeed up to 450 miles per hour. There's a switch off to the side here that gives you that higher scale. And then you can really see that thing start to spin. But we'll just keep it set at about 150, 155 miles an hour. Um, as, our, um, as our head here starts to spin up to speed, uh, we can uncage it and then um, start to adjust our, our levels here to give us a, a level platform for our uh, mirror to work from. There we go. The mirror inside here, this these optics here, are in the same level as our gyro here. It takes quite a few minutes for these gyros to spin up to speed. But uh, one of the really cool things about this, uh, once it's up to speed, uh, you can kind of rotate the base. And that gyro in there keeps it pretty well stabilized so you're your head will stay straight on target. Uh, the gyro in here was coupled to the uh, rudder control on the C1 autopilot. Uh, it, uh, it's what literally steered the aircraft. Um, and you could get, when the autopilot was engaged, you could get steering control of the aircraft through this, this knob here. Um, the reflex sight here, I don't know if you can see this here. When I turn that on, you get a little crosshair in here. Uh, it, there's a light here that illuminates a crosshair, then a mirror, 
and it reflects back this way. Um, this was to kind of rough in your target. And you can see that as you're, um, as you're targeting here, moves up and down, that reflex sight also changes. Uh, this marker here would set your altitude, and then this is your trail if you have any, um, uh, if you need to set trail. This uh, scale here sets your um, wind drift, so you can rotate that for however many degrees uh, wind drift you'd have. Uh, this little window here shows you the um, the marker here for the PDI, the pilot's directional indicator, and uh, that was directly coupled to the um, uh, pilot's uh, instrument panel up in the cockpit, and it told him whether he needed to steer left or right. Well, here's a backside view of the bomb site. You can see. Um, this, uh, this glass plate, and then inside there's a mirror, and then on up to the uh, optics that the bombardier would look through. Um, as we go through the targeting range here, you can see that mirror moving. Um, when the site's engaged, the computer's engaged, uh, you can see that mirror just ever so slowly move and rotate uh, as you're as you're approaching your target. Yeah, let me move this up to where it's a little higher range here. There, now it's it's moving a little bit faster as it raises up it it moves faster this linkage here is for the the trail the trail arm you can see how that pulls this in and out but, uh, overall it's really just a wonderfully engineered uh, it's really a piece piece of art Okay, now we got the uh, sight spinning up to speed here. You can hear it whirring. Uh, we'll set the, uh, the altitude dial here. And then uh, down here we'll set the, uh, the target so you can look through your, your sight here and pick a target. We'll pull this lever up, push this pin over, uh, so the the side is armed. Um, you can kind of keep manually tracking that. You can look through your reflex sight, and then when you're ready to start your your run, you can uh, engage the computer here, and then these will slowly come up when they meet. Uh, there's a couple of uh, tungsten tip contact points inside that uh, would signal your uh, intervalometer to release the bombs. I have this rig to disarm it once the contacts meet. And there you go. You disengage and then you can reset and do another bomb run. If you're armed and you need to disarm it manually, there's a little catch over here that disarms it. Um, there's another little dial here. When you rotate that, that angles your mirror down a little bit. It gives you a little extended view on your range on your view. Uh, let's go ahead and and run this again. I'll arm it. 
we'll engage it and then I can I can advance it or retard it And then they meet, we'll disengage, and then reset that. Um, this dial here allows you to change your, your drift. So, well, that's, uh, that's just a, a short look at the uh, Norden bomb site here. Um, oh. One more little thing here, uh, your tachometer, we'll slow that down a little bit here. You can engage the tachometer, there's a couple of pins and a couple of slots to fit that into. It uh, samples over a few seconds to give you uh, RPMs. So I'll go ahead and uh, I press in this here, release, and then it starts sampling. Just for a few seconds there. I only got 600 on, on that run there. There's a little bit of mechanical drag in my tack. I need to, to lubricate that, but that's... Uh, the vintage Jaeger um, bombsite tachometer. Well, uh, hopefully this will be interesting to someone. And uh, if there's any old uh, bombardiers out there that uh, want to actually have some input on uh, how a, a professional would use this, just feel free to contact me.